traders from around the world, welcome to your Friday, December 22nd, real life stock review. Hope you're doing phenomenal. It is the end of the week and it was a week of battles, that is for sure. Next week and the week after, real life trading rooms are closed. Uh, you'll still be getting videos from me. I might not be posting market updates specifically, but I'm sure you'll get some enjoyable, enriching content. I'll be back in two weeks before you know it though. And uh, of course, one week from today, we have the big webinar. So make sure you get signed up for that and uh, get your emails in the registration boxes. A lot of stuff to share with you next Friday. SPY, not a lot to talk about. Volume really got low as most of the people started slipping away for the week end. Uh, here's your little flag pattern, right? White candle gapping up. And all we did all week was retest that retest gap on the SPY. So for all intents and purposes, I can't really see any reason why we won't go higher toward the end of the week. What I can say is, um, even on the IWM and of course on the Qs, uh, if we do specifically Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, take out the lows of the candles that we made today and recently, uh, then yeah, I think we could get a little bit of a sell-off into the end of the year. You know, people locking in either gains or losses uh, for tax purposes and just getting all that squared away. Didn't have tons of requests today, but of course, uh, I got about 4,000 text messages and emails uh, and voice memos regarding cryptocurrencies today. All I can say is if you want more insight, I'm going to give you a really quick overview uh, more information on crypto is coming up. As you all know, I do have a cryptocurrency podcast. Make sure to hop over to patreon.com forward slash industrial rev four. Uh, become a patron and all the tra all the patriots and patrons of uh, the IR4 podcast actually do post crypto reviews. This one was just yesterday where I talked about Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple, and Stellar. And uh, yeah, there's a very good chance in that particular exact video that I mentioned, hey, if we get a big drop, buy the dips. So for all the patrons who had $5 or more, they got access to that particular one. I'll be posting another one here in a few hours. But since, to not tease you guys anymore, uh, I'll go through them really quick. I, I, I don't know, guys. Uh, Bitcoin pulled down to an old support. <laughs> this is a very... I don't know. It's a very obvious buying location. Um, if in one, in what world do you expect something to go up, you know, three hundred percent in a month and a half, not to correct fifty percent? I mean, if you're going to get big up moves, you're going to get big down moves. Nothing goes up forever, right? I think we all know that. It's called being patient, relaxing, planning. Don't get stressed out. Uh, Bitcoin literally trade up to its previous all time high just days ago. And then formed this little evening star reversal pattern, broke the support, and went lower. Um, and that being said, I mean, you know, for those who trade cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin, uh, I mean, I posted just two or so weeks ago, three weeks ago, uh, the chart on Bitcoin kind of stimulating or stipulating that, hey, let Bitcoin have that lower low before you get in, um, before, before it bounces at least. And at least that was my intention for this particular chart. So this was back on December 9th. These are my projections, and I got this bounce almost to the day, but I got it to the penny. So that was a really nice move. Bought there, sold there, and this pink line was stipulating that we would have a lower low. This blue line, right, drawn on the screen, was at 11702. So phenomenal time to buy some Bitcoin. So anyway, hopefully you're up on Bitcoin if you simply just bought low, sold high. All the other coins are the exact same, but um, we'll be posting more soon. Still trying to figure out an exact protocol and method for these uh, crypto updates. Here's Apple, AAPL, beautiful inside day candle, fantastic retest. This is a five day week. Here's the weekly chart on Apple and you got a nice little high wave candle at the all time high. So white candle gapped up, retest gap, there's the retest. So if and when that bad boy goes higher, Cool. My buddy Victor has a put sale, and uh, I think Apple hit $200 in 2018. If it breaks out, especially if it keeps trading sideways, I like it a lot. Square, with a little bit of a bearish gap down, just for protection. I know a lot of real life traders are in Square, and today is probably when most people started freaking out a little bit, which is usually a good signal to start buying. 
But as of yesterday and the day before, some real life traders getting triggered into some protective puts. It's always good to have that insurance just in case. So here's the 100 simple moving average at 32.49. I could easily see us getting down to that particular price, especially after a little bit of a bearish gap on Square. We will see, but most real life traders are in some protective puts. Remember, it pays to be trading with me every single day in the afternoon trading room or the morning trading room. In fact, I'm gonna be opening it up here in about 40 minutes. So that's Square, uh, Shopify, a lot of people looking at Shopify, nice little lower shadow, getting that retest, right? Very nice, good bullish move into here, good pullback. I like the lower shadows today on Shopify. Uh, it is trading sideways for the most part, but here's the weekly chart. And I like the fact that the weekly chart made a higher high and a higher low. Tailored Brands, we hit a target on Tailored Brands. A lot of traders celebrated today on that one. This was our original entry after this bullish gap and go. Our stop was somewhere down here. 22.54 was our target. Feeling good about Tailored Brands. Uh, CLDR, we're in bullish on, on CLDR as a swing trade. That's looking okay. And then Equifax is just slowly hanging out, still in bullish on Equifax, hoping it goes higher. Did get stopped out of uh, Rig. Yesterday, we had a bearish trade set up with this trying a head and shoulders pattern. I knew it wouldn't work though. I told everyone, hey guys, very, very small chance this actually works. It's too perfect of a head and shoulders pattern to actually play out bullishly. But all things being said, we had to have at least one bearish trade. Uh, this is the first bearish trade I've taken in, or I'm sorry, first bearish swing trade I've taken in a bit. So anyway, didn't work on rig, no big deal. Uh, also, we had a bullish swing trade on H&R Block. We got stopped out of that one. Uh, had some trades today, a lot of battling going on. But overall, uh, we still got an entire week left in December. I don't know how much I'm going to be trading next week, but I will likely be profitable, barely. Uh, the market just closed, so I'll be emailing in the actual email that goes out with this. I'll, I'll post my stats once I look at some P&L. Let's go look at some trades that were requested. Here's E-Trade. E-Trade, here's the weekly chart. Again, really good move on E-Trade. Strong, strong bullish trend, but we got a long way to go to catch up from that 2008 debacle. So at this point, um, daily chart, you got a nice little triangle pattern, something like this and something like, move that out the way, something like this. So if it continues to go higher uh, on E-Trade, sure, be bullish, but the trend is already bullish. So if you're not in, buy the dip. My good friend Francois Cisse, want to look at this one, ECS, this is on the TSX, and Ecobalt Solutions. Here's the weekly chart, a little bit of a cheaper stock, but I do really like this breakout. Uh, you can see down here a very pretty double bottom formed, um, had a good move there. This is the daily chart, and you got some good gaps, so a little bit of a less expensive stock, but bullish trend for sure. In my opinion, looks like some type of one, two, three, four, and then of course, some type of wave five. Um, so that's what I got on ECS. Next on the list is MYMMF. Let me make sure to check that one out. MYMMF, oops, gotta take these two out. Okay, there we go. And uh, MYM Nutraceuticals, it's an interesting word. Uh, another little bit of a less expensive stock, but just an absolute scorcher. Brand new, hasn't been around that long. This is an OTC stock, but you can see there's a lot of volume in this trend. Uh, good little pennant pattern, had a beautiful, beautiful breakout just the other day. All of these white candles, you gotta be taking some profit, and that's exactly what people did today. People took profit, and then of course you can see Whoever missed that bullish trend initially got all sad, scared, confused, and uh, they started buying as this dip was coming in. Overall, if you're in bullish on MYFF, consider to start taking some profits pretty soon as I could easily see this thing pulling down to about 239 and some change. I've um, got two left on the list. This is ticker symbol HP. And uh, HP had a trader who was looking at this one. I, I forget the gentleman's name. Uh, and again, no offense, I just... I get a lot of emails. Very nice breakout on HP right here. Trend is looking good. Volume is increasing. That looks nice. You do have a few white candles in a row though. So at this particular point, you know, you could expect a dip. Just kind of plan that as it could occur. But over here on the weekly chart on ticker symbol HP, I really like all of these black candles on a weekly. I like the move. I believe this is a dividend paying stock as well. Here's the long term moving averages. You're above the 100. So my thoughts, it could pull back a little bit next week or the week after, probably does, 
but eventually, if you can hold long enough, I think a $69 target is easy on this one. And then my girl, Sherry Lamb, over there in California, asked me to look at the semiconductor index. And this is a good ETF if you ever want to kind of just a general overview of that particular sector. And this is another sector, of course, that's just been going rambunctiously Rambo for the last year and a half, two years. Got a gorgeous triple bottom, inverted head and shoulders thing down here. Uh, off that 100, and then this is just the sky's the limit. Huge bullish trend. Things are a moving. So if you zoom in here on the weekly chart, right, the weekly chart, you actually have a white candle gapping up, which is a retest gap. Um, so next week, I can see it's pulling back a little bit farther, potentially. The big low for both NVIDIA and Micron technology was the low of today. If we close below the low of today on those candles, we're going to chop around a bit longer and trade sideways a bit longer. So here's MU. So very nice bullish gap on MU. Mike, your covered call expired worthless. Congratulations. But if it closes below the low of today on MU and or NVIDIA, right? Nice lower shadow on NVIDIA. Um, this did not trigger, obviously. So at this point, uh, kind of bring it down here. Look something like this. But NVIDIA... If it takes out the low of today, sometime next week, or just a general semiconductor industry, if you will, sector, then I think we could see a little bit of lower lows. But it was a very nice retest overall today. Today was a lot of uh, some good retest on a lot of things. AMD filled this retest gap. I mean, I've never seen anything like that happen. I've never seen a retest gap retest and the bounce. But either way, uh, excited to see what continues to happen from here. Folks from around the world, I hope you don't miss me too much. In fact, I know you won't because I'll still be sending you cool stuff via email. I got a video to send you tomorrow. Um, I got a video to send you Tuesday. We got a webinar together Friday. Then I got some more. I got all kinds of cool content coming for you down the pike, and it's still going to be free. I want to blow your mind. I want to enrich lives. And my friends, thank you for helping me do that. Thank you for being a real life trader. Thank you for 2018. I appreciate you tremendously more than you know. Hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy time with your friends and family. I love you all. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. I'll see you later. Bye.